Andrew comes in with an upgrade question. He has an excellent computer, but he wants to know, should I buy more? Hey Tech, I currently have an i9-12900K, a Prime Z690A motherboard, 64 gigs of DDR5 5600 RAM, and an RTX 3070. I want to play all games 100 to 144 frames a second, 1440p ultra wide. Should I go with a 14900K and what GPU upgrade? Love you guys. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. That is a great question, and I'm about to give an answer that at least a few people are going to say, Really? He has a great computer. In fact, I'm willing to bet many of our viewers would look at his current computer and say, I would love to upgrade to that, not from that. And that is absolutely understandable and fine. In fact, we had somebody just a few minutes ago mention they upgraded a Ryzen 5 1600 to a Ryzen 5 5500. Yep. That's a really solid upgrade. That's almost double the performance. Same number of cores, but way faster. However, in his case, he gave a use case example. And he said, all games, and he put all in caps. This is important, folks. All games, 100 to 144 frames per second, 1440p ultra wide. Yep. That is extremely demanding. Yes, it is. It is 50% more pixels than a standard 1440p monitor. 1080p is 2 million pixels. 1440p is 3.6 million, just under four. 1440p ultra wide is 5 million pixels. 4K is 8.3 million pixels by way of comparison. So still closer to 1440p than it is to 4K, but it is 50%. So anytime you see 1440p benchmarks, keep in mind, you're gonna lose a real big chunk of performance going to 1440p ultra wide. I think 1440p ultra wide is the one big area not being tested in the industry right now. I agree. We tried to test it and the problem we ran into was capturing it. Because we, we like to show our game footage. We do. But I own an ultra wide, she owns an ultra wide, yep. we we own several of them. It is definitely more demanding. Now, the 12900K is great. It is 16 cores, 24 threads. It is. A 14900K is a nice upgrade, but it is not going to be a wow upgrade, a slap you upside the head with a cold. We'll get to the GPU in a minute. It will not wow you, but it will make a difference. It'll make a difference in a couple of places. The 14900K, or you could buy a 13900K. The truth of the matter is the current deal today, those of you watching this later may miss this, but at the time of recording, the 13900K is available from Amazon for $429. That's insane. Go buy that. The 14900K is the same chip, same core count, same architecture, same everything, except the 14 will be about two to 300 megahertz faster, but probably $200 more. It's not worth $200 more. Now, the core count increase is nice, but it's all E cores. So it go, you go from 8P and 8E on your 12900K to 8P and 16E. Those E cores for most games today aren't necessary. They're nice, they're great for background tasks, etc., but they're not necessary. But the clock speed difference between the two chips is real. They, they did bump the clock speed between 12th and 13th gen. And most importantly, they made some refinements to internal latency and microarchitecture. Not massive ones, but there is a difference. And you use the magic words, 1440p ultra wide, all games, 144 frames per second. That's extremely demanding. And your RTX 3070 is not doing it. So no, that not. brings me to the next answer, which is what GPU should you buy? And this is why you should go ahead and replace the CPU with at least the 13900K. So it's balanced. Despite the fact that it's not wow, especially it's cheaper. It's If you sold your current chip, for 300 and you paid 430 for the 1300K. So that's $130 more. For what you're about to do, not a big deal because you should buy an RTX 4090. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? 
Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. Yes, at 1440p, standard, a 4090 has been overkill. But at 1440p ultra wide, all games, which includes AAA games like right. Assassin's Creed Mirage, yep. Starfield, yep. 144 frames per second, there's one card to buy. And it's called a 4090. And it's the 140 card that's actually worth the money in terms of what you pay for. The $1,200 you pay for a 4080, the $800 you pay for a 4070 Ti. No, not so much. They're, they're just not very interesting. The 4090 is monstrously faster than the 3090 was. And the 3090 was respectably faster than the 3070. Mm -hmm. A 4090 might not be triple the performance of his current card, but it's close. He'll it's comfortably over double. He'll notice a difference then. Yes, it is more than double the performance of his current card. It's triple the VRAM. It is another generation newer with GLSS3 frame gen, yep. better video encoding support, better architecture, ray tracing, better ray tracing. I know it's gonna sound expensive, but a $1,600 video card is your new best friend. To everybody else watching this, you can get by at standard 1440p at 100 frames per second, 60 to 100, with a way less expensive computer. We recently did a live stream featuring a $1,000 complete PC build. We did. That does that just fine. 1440p, great. Yep. But it's not going to do that thousand dollar build. It's not going to do this. Will not do fourteen forty p a hundred to one hundred and forty four in all oh, games. Oh, it no, won't. It won't. Nope. So, Andrew, you you got a couple thousand dollars to spend. I love the rest of your machine. He's got a nice Asus Prime motherboard. He's got sixty four gigs, gigs of DDR five. Yep. That's great. You just need a new graphics card and just go ahead and suck it up and replace that CPU because if you're going to put a forty ninety in, then just do it. Thank you very much for the question. There you go. What do you think of that? I like that. So, up. Owen. Owen, thank you for the support. Hey, Tech, love the streams. Thank you. I just got a 3080 use for 400. Is it worth it to get a 7800X3D for 150 more than a 12900K? I play 1080p, 360 frames a second esports. Um, you're the one guy who should probably buy the, the 3D chip. That's... I am not a fan of the 3D chip because of price. But when there's a use case for it, that's different. Right now on Amazon, the 7800X3... You know what? Should we make a... We'll make this a bite-sized tech. I like it. The one time tech recommends a 3D yeah, chip. Exactly. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I, I like that idea. But the people watching us live are special because they get early access. You do. Early access. Don't tell them they're special though. Oh, okay. Oh okay. Gosh.